first, what is creativity? Kraft, Jeffrey and Liebling, 2001, state, Creativity is a state of mind in which all of our intelligences are working together. It involves seeing, thinking and innovation. Creativity is the future for the children we teach today, and as teachers we need to encourage this within the classroom and curriculum. Creativity can be used in any subject. Kelly 2011 states, fostering creative thinking will allow them to root themselves in the future. And in order for them to be able to do this, they need to be taught creatively and across the spectrum of subjects. What are the benefits of a more creative curriculum for schools, teachers, children and for their future? Creativity is encouraged in the national curriculum and it is important it is integrated in schools and society. Within a school, all teachers should be working together and encouraging the same creative environment throughout the school. Barnes 2007 states, the teacher's personal qualities, the ethos of the school and its particular pedagogic style all impact on the learning of the child. This agrees with Kremen et al. 2009, who encourages a secure, stimulating environment which promotes the right ethos in the school and creativity for children. Children will benefit by everyone working together and having intellectual engagement. It is apparent that creating the right environment and ethos is key. There can be conflict with teens. Martini's 2004 states relational difficulties and resource constraints are the two most common sources of conflict in schools today. To resolve this would be to create a school policy in which everyone has to follow on creativity. Due to other constraints, some teachers and parents may feel that creativity is an unnecessary add-on which takes up too much time. As teachers, we should be encouraging creativity due to the benefits and encouragement the children achieve. This agrees with Fizi 2005, who says we must not look at creativity as an add-on, but essential in primary education and especially in science lessons. Science is often viewed as a difficult subject to make creative due to the amount of misconceptions that can arise. Applying creative approaches in science can improve children's thinking and problem-solving skills. One approach is to make them all scientists and involve them in hands-on and minds-on activities that involve exploration and problem-solving. This role Lamberth and Rodden 2012. And being more creative in science develops children's cognitive thinking skills. Gardner 1991 states creative science learning environments will encourage cognitive development. With the right atmosphere and freedom for children to explore, creativity can develop scientific learners. A creative science lesson could be based on plants which links to the national curriculum. Children go on a flower hunt around the school grounds in pairs. They have two pictures of a plant to find and have three questions to answer. After, children create a poster comparing the two plants focused on the functions. The Department of Education states, Scientific method is about developing and evaluating explanations through experimental evidence and modelling. This is a spur to critical and creative thought. As we progress into the school, we focus on the importance of the curriculum and assessment and making sure we stick to this while being creative. Rules 2009 explained an excellent curriculum should instill in children a love of learning for its own sake. Having a more creative curriculum would offer children greater ownership of learning as well as helping to increase their motivation and engagement. The mathematics curriculum promotes both fluency with mathematical concepts and facts and the essential skills of problem solving and investigating. Both of these contribute to creativity. Mooney 2009 says, handling data allows teachers to embrace the potential to engage children with meaningful problems to solve in creative and cross-curricular ways. The curriculum gives structures for teachers to follow, but there is still space to be creative and inspire children. However, is being creative just another add-on and making more work for teachers? Hall and Harding 2003 suggests teachers find it difficult to follow the requirements of the curriculum while having to put more time into being creative. But by putting this time into being creative, the children gain crucial skills. A creative math lesson links to the national curriculum focused on money. First, using role play creates a garden centre, having children in teams go on a treasure hunt and the money they find they spend at the centre. 
Children have to figure out what money they can use to pay for the plants. Afterwards, children write in their books what they found. Qualifications and Curriculum Authority 2000 says children enjoy mathematical learning because it is purposeful. Assessment can take many different forms. Summative and formative assessment can both be used creatively. Creativity can be done through assessments by making sure you stick to the government's policy to highlight and assess children's written, practical and oral work, results of informally administrated tests taken in class and homework. Why not do creative homework? Wilson 2009 suggests the most effective form of assessment within mathematics allows teachers to monitor the connections children make. By observing and recording children's work, the teacher can assess any progress they have made and by getting the children to reflect on their work shows the areas they can work on. Addy and Shire 2002 state by having time at the end of the lesson to reflect gives children the tools to improve. It's important that we still make sure children are making progress. This can be done through the Creative Learning Assessment, which offers advice on how to evaluate creative learning. Ellis and Lawrence 2009 state, for progress to be made, particular questions can be asked to assess, then follow giving them a, less, a level. In what ways are children able to take risks and experiment in their learning? Do they generate ideas, questions and make connections? This can be done through observing children throughout the lesson, sitting in groups with them and making comment on who is active in the lesson and contributing. Also, a reflection can be done at the end of the lesson with children, asking questions and getting children to comment on what they learned and enjoyed. Leek et al. 2002 suggests that teachers need to shift from being presenters of content to becoming innovative leaders of exploration. Within the classroom, we want to excite children and give them a love of learning. Encountering a more creative curriculum gives children the freedom and chance to explore. As well as encouraging creativity, we have to remember the school ethos and take it into the classroom. Offset state to create a positive, secure atmosphere in which risks can be taken. We want children to be able to take risks and not be put off being told they're wrong. And not creating the right atmosphere can lead to children being worried. McLaren 1999 argues that creativity risks producing anxious, uneasy people. We want children to feel they're in a safe environment and encourage them to try different approaches to finding the answer without getting stressed. Working collaboratively develops children's thinking skills and critical skills, which is vital in children's learning. Jeffrey and Craft 2006 Within the classroom, children are different. Incorporating creative approaches allows children with special educational needs included within the class. Newton and Newton, 2011 state, in the classroom, creative activities can be rewarding, motivating and engaging for the gifted and talented. An example of creative English which follows the national curriculum is provided. First, through shared reading, read roots and shoots. Each table will have paper with a different word, such as plant, leaves or food, and children brainstorm a definition. After each child is given a picture of a plant and has to write a persuasive leaflet as to why their plant should be chosen as a school plant. Catch 2005 suggests literacy teachers who encourage conversation benefits children to internalise cognitive strategies, construct meaning, feel ownership of the learning process, class. Drama and role play is a crucial way for children to be creative and learn core skills. It also links to the national curriculum in English. Drama is a creative way of teaching English or reinforcing characters in the story and understand them. Kremen 2009 suggests drama to be a moment for children to be inspired and creative in improvising a variety of views. Not only do children have freedom to explore different perspectives, but it can benefit children's writing skills. Bailey and Palmer, 2004, suggest role play can lead to a detailed work involving a range of different points of views and a more imaginative role. By children being taught creatively, they'll gain crucial skills such as innovation, imagination and cognitive skills. They'll become constructive in their learning, thinking originally and learn through taking risks. Creativity is a part of children's future, which education should equip them for. Having a more creative curriculum will give children the excitement to learn. 
This is supported by Rose2009, who states children should creatively explore their learning for themselves.